हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम देव आई एम बैक विथ माई न्यू रिव्यू सो टुडे आई बी रिव्यूइंग याम हाउस एफ जेड एफ आई एज यू गाइज कम सी सो टुडे आई बी कवरिंग फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स अबाउट दिस बाइक ऑल द प्रॉस एंड कॉन्स एंड आई कंपेयर दिस विद ओल्ड एफ जी सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट आई स्टार्ट विथ यू पीपल मस्ट हैव नोटिस्ड when it launched 2 years ago that company has recently introduced blue core technology leave fi aside blue core is a totally different thing and fi is a different thing you guys must have noticed even if we go to showroom of yamaha salesmen are like sir ye naya blue core technology aaya hai fi hai and all that thing do we really get the answer what we are asking for i don't think so so today i'll be giving all the answers for this new model so first thing yamaha has introduced a in fuel injection with 32 bit microprocessor and that is as you know connected with the ecu and all things so the best part you can again tune it in my another review of royal enfield thunderbird i told this thing that if you have ecu you can remap it according to your taste but in this bike it is a 150 cc segment bike that way air cooled engine so according to me you should not remap it rather you can uh, downsize the sprocket the rear sprocket so that will increase your top end speed but it will reduce your pickup margin so that is okay you have to compromise if we want to gain something so now i'll come to blue core blue core is a technology which many of the people are unaware of in blue core it is not on the term blue core many people are like blue core the sound it sounds nice so we go for it no blue core is a uh, blue core is all about the engine of the bike and yes obviously they have changed the chassis which again improve its handling plus it has reduced its weight marginally like 3 kg lighter than the old one so again power to weight ratio has increased that means your top end figures as it is increased because of the power to weight ratio second they use an offset connecting rods or pistons what is offset offset or onset royal enfields and many bikes not only royal enfields specifically there are many bikes they use like even the old model of fz they used to use a onset con rods or pistons so in the on turn or uh, onset con rods what used to happen is the sliding friction inside the uh piston and inside the piston block was more related uh, relating to uh, this uh, offset so in the offset connecting rods your friction is reduced drastically which improves the wear and tear of the bike and it reduces also so by doing this by opting yamaha by opting this uh, offset con rods they have gained 15% more mileage 15% more pickup many people will be thinking pickup kaise hai power kam hai no bro it is not like that papers on papers it is there 13 point some bhp it is and the old one was 14 point something but in this the power is little bit more it is more punchier than the old lot because it is 3 or 4 kg lighter than the previous one secondly this is having fuel injection which uh, which uh, provides you with a linear acceleration third this is having a offset connecting rods which will increase the engine life as well as the pickup as well as the mileage of the bike because of the the same thing i explained the reduced friction inside the piston chamber and all that things 
so I'll not go deep into it. But in one word, in this bike, the engine is really advanced and improved. So, if anybody is planning to go for this bike, and I'll name a few bikes which is at par with this bike. That is Honda Hornet, uh, CB Hornet 160. Another is Jigsaw SF, uh, not SF, the Jigsaw. So those engines are all also good. Honda Hornet 160, they use as a counterbalancer, so it is smoother than this one. I don't mean this is not smoother, this is smoother. This is also a smooth engine, even the Jigsaw is very smooth. But Honda Hornet is smoother than both of these bikes. But disadvantage in Honda Hornet is they don't use the offset connecting pistons. So that again reduces its life, engine life. And this is that advantage in those terms. So friends, I'll be showing you a few good things about this bike. That is the rear seat is more cushioned, more soft, and it's bigger. This grab handles has been positioned really nicely. You can hold it nicely. You can get a good grip because it's long, it's tall. You get a good grip. Plastic quality, according to me, have improved. Because in my old bike, in one year, this has completed a year with 3000 kilometers on Odo. Plastics are perfectly fine. Plus, the tank design is more aerodynamic than that. This is like in a taller version, taller version of that one. Plus, I liked the headlight. This is powerful than the previous one. Suspension, mudguard, tires, rims, just everything is same. This is having a catalytic converter, even that is having a catalytic converter. Many people will be thinking what is catalytic converter. Catalytic converter is nothing. It is basically an extra added feature to a bike which will reduce its emission. So that is why companies are using it. And after that, I like one thing which will help us in monsoon. I'll just... It's a rear tire hugger which company is giving. So, according to me, this is very helpful in monsoon seasons. Even for the Leh Ladakh trip. And this bike is really nice for even Leh Ladakh. Because I have seen, I did uh, recently that uh, that circuit from Manali, Jispa, Tani and that stretch. So I saw these kind of bikes performing really, really well. Even better than REs, REs are all entries. So, if you guys want this kind of bike, you should go for it without any doubt. Engine is quarter smooth. Yes, according to me, this engine is really very smooth. It's really smooth. Yeah, around 7000 rpm. The vibrations do feel in, but it is like manageable. It is like just one percent of the vibration. It's a fantastic motor, it's smooth, easy to maintain, fantastic engine with the FI system. And I don't think in this class any bikes are there with FI. It's really fantastic, good mileage. I'm getting around 45 kilometers per hour, uh, 45 kilometers per liter, and a top speed I clocked like 180 kilometers per hour. I think that is decent enough for a 150cc bike. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review. So thank you for watching, do subscribe and like. Thank you, ride safe.